start. Hi, welcome home. This is Molly. I just wanted to show you this beautiful home that I just closed on. Um, I wanted to show it to you totally empty before my client got here and moved all her stuff in. Um, this is a four bedroom, two full baths and a half bath. Um, it was originally built in 2018. It's 2,800 square feet. Um, the lot is 0.38 acres, spacious, huge lot. Anyway, come on in and I'll show you around. You can stop it and then come on in. All right. So right here over to the left, we have the formal dining room. Um, I believe this is called Wingscott. Okay, yes, it's Wingscott. So when you push the chairs back, it doesn't um, mess the walls up. So anyway, we're going to keep coming in. So this is the gourmet kitchen with a huge granite countertop. Um, and all of the appliances are stainless steel, made by Whirlpool. Very nice. Everything is pretty with the pendant lights here. Um, it's a great entertaining home. You can have everyone sitting there and just kind of watching you cook. And there's also a place here for another table to go. And it leads into the great room. Right here, it has a wood burning fireplace. Oh, also worth mentioning, which is one of my favorite things about a kitchen, is the subway tile here. I love the look of the subway tile. Um, it just makes it nice. Here is the walk-in pantry. I like the fact that it has um, frosted glass so you can't see all the junk that, you know, people may shove in there. Um, and here is, again, the gray room with a copper ceiling. I love the copper ceilings. And there's a wood burn, and um, a uh, gas burning fireplace there. And we'll go out in the back garden just a second. And here is the master, which is on the main, which my client really, that was one of her prerequisites. And here's the tray ceilings here. And this is a custom closet that the previous owner had. This um, house was originally built in 2018 by Seacoast Custom Homes. No, Seacoast Construction. But anyway, nice little touch um, that you can organize all of your stuff in there. Um, and it has an in-suite bathroom, which just means the bathroom is attached to the master um, in the same room. So it has a separate shower and a tub. This is Corian, I believe, yeah, Corian. And this is granite, the same granite that is in the kitchen, which that's normally what they do. And one of my... And here is the in-suite which just means that it is attached to the master bedroom. Oh, come on in, okay. <laughs> and here is the water closet. So for all of you guys that don't know what a water closet is, it's just a commode, a toilet that is in its own separate room. So that when you're doing your business, you can turn the fan on and you can shut the door. <laughs> A pretty big room so you can wash your clothes you can hang them up to dry a lot of things can't all go in the dryer and here is the two-car garage here. so it's a finished garage um, normally when the builder gives it to the um, buyer they don't really finish it but this one looks finished and it's nice and it still has a new smell here three start Okay, here is a half bathroom on the main right here. Yeah, just a half bathroom. Here is a coat closet here for the little people and the big people. Now we're going to go upstairs and we're going to check out the bedrooms up there. You can get the one on here. Okay, so now we're going to go upstairs. And um, upstairs, there are three other bedrooms and a loft area and more 
um, more of even tone. Okay, so now we are going upstairs where there are three additional bedrooms, a loft area, and I'm going to also show you the attic which can be um, transformed into another bedroom if she wanted to do it. Okay, so follow me. Okay, so now we're in the loft area. This is 12 by 12, yeah, 12 by 12, around 12 by 12. So it's really big, you can entertain up here. You can just make this your living area and just have the downstairs kind of nice and neat when you have guests. I love the fact that, um, you know, a lot of the houses are having loft areas now because it just gives you that space where you can just be yourself and you can, you know, be messy if you want to and still have another area downstairs where you can entertain and, you know, welcome guests and it'll be nice, neat and clean. So here is a bedroom here, one of three upstairs. Each bedroom has a um, ceiling fan and a walk-in closet. Another walk-in closet here. And then here is the other bathroom. Accordion countertop. Oh, look at this. I like these cabinets. They're nice. I love the double sinks. Um, normally it's about an eight to nine hundred dollar upgrade to get another sink, but I mean this is like one of the main bathrooms other than the master so you definitely need a double sink so that you know two people can get ready at the same time and plus what would you do with all that extra space so good call on the double sinks here is the final bedroom of the house again the layout is pretty much the same in every bedroom ceiling fan bed and a walk-in closet linen closet. More storage here. Could be a coat closet or whatever you want to put in there. And here's a here's the attic that has that can easily be transformed into another room. All you have to do is basically add a window and it's already insulated. I mean this room is not even hot. I mean, it's nice and cool in here. And here's the two water heaters, and there's additional storage up there. Um, like I said, you can either make this into another room or you can just leave it just the way it is and just shove all kind of stuff in here for storage. And the previous owners were super nice to leave the laminate floor here, just in case you have to switch out any of the flooring. All right, so the last thing we haven't seen is the outside patio. Um, in the yard, so we're going to go out there and see that. Okay. So we're in the backyard. Um, this is the screened-in patio. And it has concrete slab already. It, I don't really know what the, how big it is, but it, there is a screened-in part here where you can entertain, and it's already um, they strung up some lights, which is super nice. And then there's an extra pad out there. So if you want to grill, cook, or whatever. And um, so this whole thing is fenced in. It's wood and wrought iron over there. And you have a view of the lagoon. Um, I would go out there, but it just rained a little bit. So I don't really want to get wet. So anyway, here it is. Um, this home is four bedrooms, two and a half baths, two stories. Uh, it sits on a 0.38 acre lot. It was built in 2018. So if you or anyone you know is looking for a house in Savannah, Richmond Hill, Pool, or anywhere, um, I go anywhere in Georgia. <laughs> so um, just call me and let me know and we can find you a house just as beautiful as this one to fit your needs. Bye.